If you take a look, our junior high intro to ag class is out here and they've mixed everything in. We see worms in there like that. Joe Ankley is in his fourth year as the agri-science teacher for the North Huron schools. We're set up so that freshmen can take biology and agriculture and they get their biology credit. Sophomores can take zoology and the environment and they get an environmental science, kind of like an earth science credit from that one. Um, but we try to cover the 12 uh, agriculture, food, and natural resources standards when we do that too. And then juniors and seniors have an opportunity to take an advanced ag course. And uh, I teach an introduction to agriculture, which is for seventh, eighth graders, and then some sixth graders in there too. Classroom work is really interesting and it's different than any of my other classes and that's what I like about taking ag classes with him is we do a lot of hands-on stuff and it's just really enjoyable to be in his classes. It doesn't even feel like a class but we learn a lot from it. The kids, if they have me for class, are doing some type of leadership activity, whether that's a speech or a demonstration or presenting an agricultural issues. And at the regional contest we've been pretty successful the past year and have kids that actually go to compete at the state contest. And that's our goal is, is for students to compete at the state contest and if we get lucky enough like this year, you know, win a state contest. That state winning Ag Issues team tackled the controversial wind energy topic. Research involved interviewing area proponents from both sides and a visit to one of the 300 thumb area wind turbines. Huron County is considering a moratorium on wind energy. The team performed a skit and answered questions on the issue at the FFA National Convention and were welcomed home by supporters after their journey. I was part of the Egg Issues team that went to States and won. Uh, that was cool. Uh, everything, everyone on the team actually thoroughly wanted to be there and compete and win. So if everyone wants to do something, we came through and won it. Before FFA, I couldn't really talk in front of a big group, group of people. And then, you know, competing at different levels of, of competition, you know, you, you, you talk in front of tens, twenties, you know, hundreds of people. And it, without that, I wouldn't be able to really talk to anyone, <laughs> I feel like. Are they a lot bigger? Yeah, they're bigger. They're bigger. Now it's right. big. Yep. You know, some other activities that we do in the fall, uh, we do an Ag in the Classroom project, and this year we did two that we focused on. The kids created presentations that focused on agricultural content, as well as tried to meet the Michigan science requirements for their grade level. So if they're going in a first grade classroom, what do first graders have to know for science? We also do a community garden and that's been a project with the help of several grants that we've received through national FFA and local grants. Uh, we've been able to expand our community garden from six, six beds, raised bed gardens, to 12 raised bed gardens. We work closely with the food pantry on a lot of projects. We raise about 100 chickens each fall that are designated for the food pantry and that are donated to the food pantry from North Huron FFA, um, as well as all of the vegetables and fruits that we produce in our community garden. We have a lot of kids um, at North Huron that are from an agricultural background. If they're not, they're just a generation removed. Grandpa and grandpa are still on the farm, or aunt and uncle are still on the farm. So we have a lot of students that have projects at home, whether that project is plant-based or those kids are raising animal projects at home. We have a lot of kids that still live on, on livestock farms or farms that can support livestock facilities. But one of my goals is to make sure that the kids that maybe don't have those opportunities have an opportunity to take an animal to fair. So we'll have, I think, about 60 kids this year showing at fair um, from North Huron, and those kids will have large animal projects, they'll have small animal projects. It's changed me. I used to be that shy kind of person that wanted to get out in front and talk in front of people. And since Mr. Ankles came, he's pushed me a lot to get me to go and participate in leadership contests. You get a lot out of, out of teaching kids, not only about agriculture, but life skills, um, skills that will take them farther in life, public speaking skills, leadership skills. For his exceptional teaching of agriculture and devotion to student development with the FFA, Joe Ankley is the 2015 Michigan Farm Bureau AgriScience Educator of the Year.